Hi, welcome back. Today we'll be looking at the audio analyzer with a mic input. As you can see here, I've got some planes that are moving up and down on the uh, scale of the Y. So let's get into Spark and see how to make this. So, hi. It's relatively simple to do. I showed you a rather complicated variation. So what I'm going to do here is just do a really simple version. So basic elements you're going to need. You're going to need the mic. So basically right click the mic on the left hand side, create a patch. You'll then need to add the audio analyzer to that. That comes with an audio output for your speaker. Don't forget your speaker and eight bands. Then as I see it, the best way to do it on way basically other people are doing is they're adding a pack uh, and then they're changing a, the size of a plane. So the pack basically sets like it gives it a uh, sort of a reset position. So this is my default position, which is 100 percent for this image here. The pack is going to give it a zero position, or in this case, a zero scale. But when I speak, the mic will then change that and put it back to the 100 percent. But not for very long, just however long the voice or the, uh, the band of that voice is, is there for. So I'm just going to connect it and it will vanish from the screen. Now, I'm sure lots of you have had a go at this or you've looked into it. And the important part is that you do need to send it to the device to do the test. You can't do it in Spark. So I'm just going to ping that to the device now. While we wait for that to happen, I'm just going to open up QuickTime. And there we go, right? So now I'm going to run it. So hello again. Hello world. So there you go. So you can see it's rather small. Didn't see that coming. Anyway, that's how it works. So let's add in another one. Okay, so I'm just going to disconnect that and see what happened there. Ah, right. Okay, that should match. That'll be why. They should have matched. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in a second plane. So I'm just going to duplicate the plane I already have. Uh, Command D or Control D or depending on what machine you're on. And then I'm going to move that across the screen. It's still there because I obviously haven't added a pack and, got, and I haven't got rid of it yet. And I'll right click it, create a patch for it. Oh, no, don't create a patch for it. Sorry, I need to add the scale for that. That's what I need to do. Then I'm going to copy this pack, add it in again. I'll change the band. I'll use six. I'm going to push it into the um, let's change that. Yeah, I'm going to change it into the X. Oh, add that into the X of the scale. All right, save that. I'm going to push it to the device. And hopefully this will work. Has it worked? Yep, there you go. So now you can see we've got one moving on the Y and one moving on the uh, X. Thanks for watching. I have some other five minute guides if you're interested. Also, please like, share and subscribe this video.